Is this a normal day in rehab? How long have you been throwing like this? And are we back this year, like next week? Aaron, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's just cool our jets a little bit. Next week, I heard. Wow, here we yeah. go. Oh. On. He can just catch We're on a bye week. We're on a bye week. We're on a bye week this week. So definitely. Next good. game? Yeah, yeah, two definitely. weeks? Here we go. Yeah. More time. Next Read game. Up. I'll, I'll definitely be back for the next game, but uh, Whoa! as you can see, I'm in rehab, rehab right now. We're in. Uh, we're about five weeks tomorrow since surgery. Five weeks yesterday was uh, uh, was the injury. So the goal was, you know, the first goal was to be able to get back on the field for the October first game. Uh, I was hoping without crutches, I just wasn't actually anywhere close to to being able to to get off of them. And then the next goal was to be able to throw on the field. Uh, on the 15th it's really just for me to be able to feel more normal you know just to be back around the guys was incredible to be on the field without crutches to be able to be on the sidelines to be on the headset uh it made me feel you know like i wasn't uh so separated from the team so really thankful for that and yeah obviously just about anything i do or say uh there's some sort of reaction uh that's kind of uh where i'm at right now and I appreciate it, but that was a special moment for me to be able to feel a little bit more normal uh, in, you know, five weeks. It's been really, uh, really tough, uh, not just physically, but, you know, emotionally and spiritually. So your your recovery seems like it is anything but normal right now. You seem like you've sped up the process pretty quickly. Are you able to talk about any of the specific modalities, as you like to say, uh, of what you're doing to kind of, you know, have such an, an instant impact and already be walking, throwing, doing all these things? That's the big question for my teammates, friends, and obviously I'm sure outside of, of that group. But uh, listen, I, I believe in the power of intention. I believe in the, in the, uh, the power of your mind and, and the will, willpower. Uh, basically this entire time I've kind of said this is what I'd like to do rehab-wise. Uh, got some incredible people to work with, not just the Jets, but – uh, but Heather here is, is amazing to work with. Uh, Neil, you know, my doctor, Neil Atrosh, did a uh, kind of a newer, uh, innovative surgery. And, uh, you know, I, I asked him if we could push it, if we could push it beyond the normal protocols. Um, Cam Akers had the same surgery. He was able to come back in about five months. Uh, me and JK uh, both had the surgery within a couple of days of each other. And it'll be interesting to see uh, what both of our prognosis is and in our timetable, but I've, I've just wanted to do things uh, uh, quicker and smart, but quicker. And, and like I've said, you know, the most important thing is you just don't want to stress the Achilles. Stress, okay. Stretch, not okay. So it's just about being smart with the rehab and pushing it as much as I can and then backing off on the days that it, it doesn't feel great. So what does it feel like whenever you're throwing there? Is it just tight? And what can you do? What can't you do right now? Yeah, I felt great. You know, I really felt great. I had uh, just a little bit of a limp. I'm just not quite walking perfectly normal, but throwing feels great. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of uh, different stuff here in the uh, in the rehab gym around weight transfer and uh, and movement, uh, just in a smaller area. Mostly just like transferring weight from a right foot to a left foot, left foot to a right foot. Um, left foot, you know, that's where the surgery is, so that's the plant leg. Probably better in the short and the long term that it's not the push-off foot, the back of the drop. Um, obviously, the left foot's an important part of the punch step and the drop, and, the, and obviously it's the plant foot, but I think it's a little easier to uh, uh, than maybe if it was the back foot and pushing off it every single time. So standing and, and throwing is not a problem. Moving in a small little area was not a problem, and, and I was excited to get back out there. And again, it just felt a little bit more normal in a time that hasn't anything, anything has been the abnormal, anything I've tried to do, so nice to be able to be back out there yeah it felt like normal for you for everybody else it's defying medicine and logic and everything that's taking place because now the conversation is okay so they have a bye week this week obviously he's back in two weeks but legitimately let's kind of shape this out if he was to come back a month sooner than uh acres was able to it'd be like december or january which isn't you know until a long time but football is going to really matter there then the conversation goes to well he'll come back whenever he can defend himself because you can't just be sitting back there and not be able to move to defend yourself or protect yourself against guys that are coming you're gonna have to have a little bit of explosion right that's the that's the big step that'll be the big phase of when you could potentially get back on a football field that's what we're waiting for almost look i think we're, we're kind of way ahead pat and just even saying that there's 
there's just markers. You know, you saw me walk without crutches and throw on the field. Like that's another marker is going to be jogging. And then another marker is going to be going through a pregame workout probably and get on the practice field. And all these are going to take time. It's not just going to be, you know, boom, 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 boom. There's, there's critical markers that I have to hit uh, as far as single leg strength and, and uh, being able to do heel raises and being able to uh, do explosive movements. And, and, and these are all progressions that take time. So th- this is obviously we're ahead of schedule. There's a lot of factors to that. Uh, there's the way I've attacked the rehab. There's obviously the surgery that uh, Dr. Elitrash did. There's the rehab that I've done uh, and kind of the round-the-clock approach that I've had. There's implementing the diet um, that I've been doing as well. And then just the power of uh, the power of the mind and the power of the manifestation of the, of the desires. Um, all those things together still doesn't get you back on the field. You have to hit a bunch of, a bunch of different things and, and be feeling a certain way. Uh, but... You know, that's, that's the goal. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to put a timetable on it specifically. That makes absolutely no sense. Anybody that does doesn't realize that there's a lot of things that have to happen to get to that point. But it's going to have to be jogging and then explosive moments and then practicing. And then uh, everybody's signing off on it. And, you know, hopefully we get to, to have that, those conversations. That's amazing. Three weeks, dude. Three weeks from right now, he's going to be yep. back playing football fully. Wow. Because we saw wow. him. I mean, he was walking. That one Jets drive thing we mm-hmm. saw. Yep. You know, because on TV, we saw him do this one. Mm-hmm. And they say, let me get one and yep. do this whole thing. But in the locker room, they showed him just, oh, what? <laughs> what? Surprise. What? That was like three weeks afterwards. Yeah. That's not supposed to happen. And then now you're swaying. We just assume it's going to take place before this season ends with a lot of time left. 